All right, mi gente, we just finished wrapping up. Um, sorry, my, my, my throat is a little sore. But guys, we just finished wrapping up. We took care of a problem, but we have another problem. So we retook care of the problem with the combustion side, meaning we had an issue with the flow oil, then we had an issue with the oil pump, and we bled it, so now it's finally working, everything is okay. But we have another issue that we didn't know before. Granted, the, the boiler was cold, so if you guys know anything about boilers, um, the boiler, it's a hot water system, it expands. You heat, you heat water and seal system in a pipe, it expands. So in this case, you start leaking from the relief valve. Makes sense because it was cold, it wasn't leaking before, but now that you heat up the boiler, you have started to make heat, it started to expand, temperature started to go up, building pressure, and guess what? It's leaking from the relief valve. We check the expansion tank. The expansion tank, what we call is waterlogged, meaning that's full of water. It's supposed to be half water, half air. So we have to replace the expansion tank. The pressure reducing valve is not, is not working correctly, and also, the relief valve is just a good practice that you replace the relief valve because the seat goes bad. So if it's leaking, even though we replace the expansion tank, guess what? We'll come back again to replace the relief valve. So it's always good practice that if you're, you're ever replacing an expansion tank and the relief valve is leaking, just replace the relief valve, expansion tank. In this case, goes going to replace the pressure reducing valve. Well, I don't know if you're going to do it yet, but you have to replace that in order for you to have proper pressure, adequate pressure, and also the relief doesn't leak. It maintains a sharp first steady pressure between 12 to 18 pounds, which is what you want to be at. And also the pressure reducer valve knows that whenever the pressure is down, it's going to feed water. But they do go back, guys. Remember, just because it didn't leak before doesn't mean there's, there's no problem. But unfortunately, it does happen. I don't want to be the bear bad news, but these things do happen. So guys, stay tuned. Just another day with the HVAC Bot. Wepa. Me, hey, thing. It's Louis the Boiler Man. And I am your Boiler Man. Wepa. I'm the Boiler Man. Yep. That's what I am. I'm here to fix whatever I can. Whatever I can. If you're getting cold uh -huh. and you're feeling blue, blue. call a new your boiler and I'll be there for you. I want to heat you. I want to please you. I want to fix that boiler all for you. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm the boiler man. I'm the boiler man.